What is going on guys today we have got another upgraded SBC unfortunately not the one that personally I was hoping for today we was kind of expecting maybe a doubles pick or something with a little bit of value to it and unfortunately we have got the 78 plus again and again it's pretty okay but for me, I definitely wanted to go for that 80 plus if possible. It is, again, six players to do. And we're going to be teaching you, again, how to grind this to the max. We've obviously only got it again for a whopping two days. They seem to like to do this now, but we move with it. Earn a pack, rare player, 78 raid, six cars, exactly gold. They can all be common. As we can see here, we could just go through our suds, our libs, our normals, then back into our rares. Personally, I like to start it off with just getting rid of any suds. Because we don't have any of the league SBCs yet, these are like the first things I put in there because it's just nice and easy to get rid. And there you go. You can kind of then keep your golds if you want to keep a certain league, if you want to keep a certain team. You can kind of grind through them first. And they kind of just, they make, I don't know, they just club up, they, they stock up in your club. First one, this is probably going to be the, the start of it really. But, 79 you can obviously re-go through it you only need five cards at a time if you are doing this from absolute scratch i'm going to be going through the zero coin method or at least as close to zero as possible all the way up to having millions of coins that you can spell and spend in this so the first step to any of this normally is the bronze pack method yes it is a little bit more tricky than than kind of normal because we don't have league sbcs as of yet if they are coming so I would say you definitely have to have a little bit of coins to be able to get this done to start with, but you will find your way up in this grind. So you can still sell people in Bronze Pack Method. So for instance, right now, I'd be getting rid of all of these. Do check sometimes your club items, any badges or kits, sometimes do sell. And then obviously we check these players as we do normally. For instance, we have a, La, well, okay. We have a La Liga um, left mid here that is going for a whopping 1.6. We'll say 1.7. You could probably get him sold at 2k, but it's just a just in case. If you see 200 on these, you don't want to be listing for 50 minutes to an hour. You want to make sure you're getting rid of them straight away. That one's weird that that's got 200. It just screams to me that there's a price fix there or something. By the looks of it, there seems to be a lot bought there. So there's another 200. We're going to go for 350. It might not sell, but you give the hope sometimes if you've got a bit more coins. You can be a bit loose with some cards. And the one thing you want to be doing is just grinding this out. We know this method by now, the bronze pack method does work and always works better with obviously um, League SBCs present because cards have got a value all the way through. We've got a Doncaster away kit. I don't know if this is going to tell me. Okay, so we've got 200 on here. We've got a rare kit here. Some of them as well may say that there's no available searches, but they sometimes do. They just don't pop up. That one, you could argue to get rid of 200. Personally, we're not going to this time round. Um, left wings sometimes have some value. Brazilians definitely have the value there. We're going to get that one gone for 600. Pretty much makes the pack back. And then we do have a Prem player here who you can do one of two options. Keep in your club and hope for a kind of a league SBC soon. Or you get rid for 500, even though you know in a couple of weeks, months, whatever, when it comes out, you obviously will get him gone for a lot more. From there, you've done all that. That is the, the bronze pack method. You keep going with it. Wait until either your transfer list is full or obviously um, you just get bored of it. have no coins. So technically, we've sold that one at 1.7. He has paid for the two packs plus an extra one on top, pretty much with the discards of each at the minimum. And then we do have a couple of cards as well that if they do sell, we get a little bit of extra profit from that. Then once we've done that, we go then from that bronze pack method straight into our upgrades. We have the bronze, uh, silver and gold. We mainly want to see the bronze and silver today. So obviously from there, we literally can use anybody. So if you want to use goalkeepers, if you want to use just your lowest ones, go into here. I'm personally trying to keep as many League SBC cards as possible whenever I do any of this. So as you can see, the bottom ones tend to be a lot of League SBC that have been in the past. But as we work our way up, you'll see we have finally got some Australian, we've got Danish. I've kind of been lacking on the upgrades at the moment on the bronze pack purely for the fact that you sometimes have days where you just can't sell anything or something you've packed 
doesn't actually pop up, but there is days where you obviously get quite a lot that does sell, depending on the daily SBC at the moment and marquee matchups. But we can, once we've done the, the full transfer list, got all our bronze, then go into the bronze upgrade and just continually upgrade as much as possible until you're happy with how many upgrades you've got in terms of silvers. Then we obviously open the silver packs. From there, we may get duplicates, which actually I don't have that many silvers, so that's crazy that we do. So we can obviously go ahead and put him in. He is a League SBC card that actually will be worth something in the future but we go into then our silver upgrades this is the last step that we need to do before we can do the upgrades um, which obviously we can go ahead and do seeing as though we got a duplicate we go then into silvers same format again if you want to use league sbcs or not just whack them in start looking through if you need to know the league sbcs check out the fifa 22 league sbcs and just basically stay clear of them i can't really see them adding too many maybe the portuguese league might be worth staying away from so i don't know how exactly we're going to get the format this year um, personally as well i would try and keep any major nations as much as possible purely for the fact that they normally are good for daily sbcs and other stuff like that but once we've done that, so we've opened all our two player silver packs, we then can throw them all into the silver into the silver upgrade and we get three common golds back. So again, we can whack that in. We can then get a common, well, three of them, and you only need to do two silver upgrades per upgrade, which is always fantastic. And I'm not saying this method is the quickest in the world because most definitely it will take some time, but the whole point of this is if you haven't got millions of coins to go and buy your common straight off the bat, this is going to be absolutely perfect to get it done now and get it done with as little cost as possible. So once we've then happily done all of the silver silver upgrades into the free commons, we then come to here. Um, personally, again, I'm going to use my libs, but what you do is you go into your gold upgrades, uh, your gold commons, and just start plowing them in. Get them all in and make sure you are grinding out as much as possible keeping whatever you need to keep because sometimes you may not want to give up some players maybe it's not worth the grind as much we are going to do quite a few of these upgrades in the next few hours so definitely stay tuned for that you'll see if it's worth it at the minute two two done and we haven't got a board from it so again and we've got rash rash was not a bad card actually so we've now got to obviously re-go through him so with these i would suggest probably either opening when you've got a, a kind of couple of cards left there is the argument as well for me instead of doing the 78 plus i would use all my focus into the gold upgrade because realistically from 75 to 78 there is a load of cards that obviously you can pack but you get double for one card less whereas a 78 plus upgrade even though yes you are missing all of them 75 to 77s uh, from 78 to 81 there are so many useless cards still so the fact that you can get two cards that you could put back in is still technically cheaper than doing the 78 plus the only other theory with doing the 78 plus is the fact that people may think there is a better weight chance to obviously get from this one rather than doing the gold upgrades and i have got good from both i think last time we did 50 80 pluses i want to say and to be honest we didn't really get that many gold upgrades we've had a couple of walkouts these we've also had a couple of walkouts so both of them are at that same level it really is how lucky you are but with the gold upgrade you do get two for 11 rather than two for 12 in terms of 78 plus so again it depends on what logic you're looking at third one in no no uh, board whatsoever so let me know down below what you got with out of the duplicate theory what do you think about this? Make sure you do check out the videos on the left if you want. And if you want to subscribe for more, I will catch you all in a bit. Peace.